Hey guys, how's it going? It's Alice. Welcome back to my channel. Oh, I'm good. Yes, I'm wearing a shirt. Okay? Jeez. This is coffee, by the way. Shout out to Coffee and Wine for really, like, tag-teaming, getting me through this, this pandemic. And I don't Anyway, so we're going to do this tired e-girl look. I'm going to pop up some of the gals that I'm inspired by. Eerie Bat on Instagram and the Hex Girl also on Instagram. So I just thought that this like kind of tired e-girl look is very, very cute. Calling it tired e-girl because I don't know what else to call it. I think it's adorable and I wanted to try it out. So we're going to do this type of transformation today. with a big reveal at the end okay so let's get into it i already did my skincare i do need some moisturizer though it's been kind of hot so i want something a little lightweight this is by moira cosmetics atomic water balm now i am just gonna go with my go-to foundation which is the pearly perfect glow bb cream i feel like when it comes to like e-girl makeup you don't want something cakey and full coverage. You kind of want to look a little bit more fresh-faced. That's just me, though. A little bit on the eyelids. We're not using concealer today, honey. Let's blend it around with the sponge. So I've been watching Drag Race, season 12. I think I'm like six episodes in, maybe. I don't know. They just eliminated Jan, which... <sighs> I don't even I don't even understand she was so well-rounded talented beautiful I just don't understand and I don't like it I was a Jan stan but I'm be I've been getting so inspired because just the transformations that they do like I just love drag I think I'm a drag queen <laughs> at heart and that's why I love doing these like transformation -y type lurks I'm gonna do a touch of contour just because I have I have to you guys I have to there's really no other way around it. I don't have cable, and so I've been watching it on the VH1 app, luckily. Jenny has graciously let me log in with her account. And holy shit, her commercials so annoying. TV commercials? Ugh. It's all for, like, the internet service that you're currently using. Like, I'm already watching, I mean, technically, I guess not really, but... No, I am a customer. I'm already a customer. I have your internet. Like, stop trying to sell me more internet. YouTube ads, like, I feel like aren't that bad. Sometimes they're kind of funny. Cable ads, like, the type of ads that are on cable, they're, they're, they're aggravating to me. Like, they make me mad because I feel like they think I'm stupid. And, like, everything needs to be so uplifting. But also, like, <laughs> in, insert uplifting piano like kind of somber but like also slightly uplifting we know that you really need to use the internet right now we're here to help you with that sign up for the internet today get off my dick dude pop a little contour right here it elongates the nose into the forehead create a circle on the tip of your nose like that hmm? man just brush back and then we can soften that with our sponge okay that's better i feel like there wasn't enough light on my face so now there is i actually am gonna conceal a little bit just to bring a little lightness so chin here where these smile folds are forehead Anyway, so I've been wanting to recreate, like, every look that I've seen on drag. Not everyone, but, like, the Black Wedding. Stunning and perfect, and it's, like, literally everything that I ever wanted. And more, if you guys haven't seen it. Well, see, that just brought, like, a little lightness. A little lightness to the face, but we're still gonna get those under-eye bags. Perfect. <laughs> I'm gonna do my eyebrows, just so we can kind of stop looking at these... These these e-girls have brushed up eyebrows brow soap setting spray spoolie and just brush them up brush them up brush them out and then i kind of like to flatten them a little bit i'm using the kvd brow pomade in graphite and this is a morphe m165 it's actually a really good eyebrow brush i like how wide it is i feel like the wider the brush the less work you have to do is somebody gardening right now? Why would you garden at 1 p.m.? 
during the day. This brow, I feel like I can reshape it and kind of make it look different. This brow, it just grows in like this. There's no... It doesn't want to listen to me. And I'm getting sick of it, to be honest. And like when I just have contour and brows, I look like a dude. The dude your mom warned you about. A... Hey. You know what? What's going to help with that is blush. We're moving on to blush. I'm going to do a cream brow. So I'm going to grab a cream blush next. Nope. Yeah, that was, that was. Also, we might start to kind of use this to map out our dark circles. I think I'm going to do this pink shade right here called Guava. Mm, yep. And I'm going to drag that across the top. Some people put it on the bottom. I don't blush on the bottom just makes you look like you have a cold. Whereas if you put it up here, it gives the illusion that your nose is like a little bit more scooped because that shadow is bringing the bridge further in. That's also where the sun naturally hits, so I feel like it makes sense. For the dark circles, I kind of feel like this color would be perfect. I feel like that stuff is actually kind of hard to work with on the eyes, so I'm gonna move on. I'm just gonna set my face and then move on to eyeshadow. The Naked Cherry palette's probably perfect for this lurk. Let's go with Devilish. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The green was, was actually good to get that base of color. The shadow is actually working out really well for this, so Devilish, really. So we're starting in the crease and then just curving around, connecting it to the outer corner on the lower lash line. And I'm just going to blend, occasionally dipping in to the same color if I need to. Get an angled brush like this so that we can easily just kind of flick it out. Like we're tired but we're also snatched, you know? Gosh, you know what would be cute? It's like almost like a little bit of a cut crease action. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm taking Devilish and I'm connecting the lower eye bag. And we're going to bring it around down. Try to just blend the outer part of that. Dip into a skin tone eyeshadow and reinforce that negative space. It looks crazy, I know, you guys. We're, we're, we're going to pull it together. A moment of silence for my goddamn eyeliner right now. Alright, the wings are big, they're here, honey. And if you don't want to do such big wings, then you're a pussy. <laughs> Anyway, so privacy right here, this dark, rich brown, tiny brush. Smoke out that edge. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, that, that kind of looks cool. Let's add a little bit of shadow down here. I'm going to extend my inner corner a little bit. Now they're doing trash. What? For lashes, I'm doing this very like PC spaced out pair. Muffin, you're kidding. And then mascara on the lower lashes, of course. Alright guys, finishing steps here. Get a little blush. This is Siate Marbled Light Halo. I feel like a, I think a pink highlighter would be cute. Since we're kind of pink already. This is by Stellar Cosmetics, and it is the Supernova Highlight. It's super glittery, but I'm fine with that. A little bit of that on the tip of the nose. And then just going in with this light one right here, right under the arch of my brow. Screw it. Let's just top up cheekbones. I think I just want to do something really dark and vampy. So this is Cloven Hollow, shade Sangria. When it comes to li applying liquid lipstick, if you're having trouble getting crisp lines with a doe foot, get a tiny little brush like this, a lip brush, a small concealer brush, you can even use an angled brush, and get a little bit of the product off of the doe foot onto the brush. 
and it is so much easier. And then finally, get a tiny concealer brush and some concealer, and we're just going to try to take in the, the sides a little bit so you kind of look pouty. I decided to just do my usual throw on some rings it's kind of hard to fuck up the layered look you just throw on whatever you want the more the better so it definitely turned out more goth than it I thought it would but it is my channel after all so it makes a lot of sense oh and of course a hoodie a hoodie and then you unzip it and pull it down on the shoulders and then you've got a cold shoulder moment I'm obsessed anyway let me know what you guys think of the look down in the comments below I had fun with it. I appreciate you watching and love you all so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Yeah.